What? These are badass. I hope they work. Like I hope that they, oh, ooh. Okay, so. What's up guys? Welcome back. So, there is a brand that's been on my radar for a minute and I finally got around to making an order and that is Vesca Beauty, a very cool new indie brand that makes a lot of efforts towards inclusivity that we will talk about throughout the video. But I have here in my hot little hands, you guys know I'm not usually a fan of a first impressions video, but I'm, I'm just too excited and I will provide little inserts throughout the video to let you guys know how this stuff ended up wearing so that it's not like a completely ineffective video. I do want you guys to know whether like the eyeshadows crease and things like that, but I got the soft matte bronzing powder in Kissed by Rio, two of their Moonlit Dream eyeshadows. I got the Stargaze Luminous Glow Highlighting Powder, that's in the shade Moonlight. And then I also got the Lush Glow Creamy Lip Oil, and that's in the shade Lotus. So I'm gonna zoom y'all in. We're gonna put a full face of makeup on, but we're going to focus on these specific little treats. And I will talk about the whole brand, their mission, their claims, everything about them, and then we will have my final thoughts at the end. So let's go ahead and jump in, you guys. Candle of the day today is Volcano by Capri Blue, a fan favorite. And I've had some specific requests from people to make mention of my candle of the day, so there you go. I just wanna take a minute and talk about the elegance and simplicity, but also like the modernity of this packaging. I'm a packaging geek, you guys know that, and I like the outside packaging as well as this inside packaging. I wouldn't say it's like super duper heavy. It doesn't feel like, you know, YSL or something, but it's definitely not like drugstore feeling either. So I'm going to zoom through my complexion and everything until we get to the bronzer, but I want you guys to at least see what the heck I'm doing. tidbit here. For those of you who remember, it would have been probably the end of 2019, there was an e.l.f. powder that I had that I could not get the sticker off of, and so I ended up throwing it across the room and not using it. And then months later, I hear there is an e.l.f. dupe for the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder that we all would love to dupe because Hourglass. And I went to search what it was and I realized I already had it. It happened to be the e.l.f. powder that I had chucked across the room a year ago. So this is the Halo Glow Setting Powder and I'm finally giving it a shot. I am already impressed with it. It already, I think, almost sets my makeup better and more lightly than the hourglass. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so there are seven shades in this particular bronzer and I ended up going with, I think the lightest one called Kissed by Rio. And online, it really looked very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury in the sense of being very, very pale and not super orange. I feel like the undertones are pretty well informed just looking at it, but I also wanted to swatch it against the Charlotte Tilbury because it happens to be my current favy fave. Yeah, I'm not wrong. <laughs> Those are pretty similar. This is a tiny bit deeper, but let's see. And then also it looks like it's a little bit warmer. <laughs> Y'all, I have to work a little bit harder for a swatch. Oh my God though, the Vesca has the most velvety formula. I can already feel it. Okay, is that even helpful? So this is the Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Vesca. And the Vesca actually is a little bit more yellow. I left my fluffy brush downstairs, my favorite fluffy brush. So we're gonna move to my second favorite fluffy brush here and hope for the best. Ooh, oh, oh, there's a scent. Perhaps I should have known that. It's like coconut. They don't claim to be a clean beauty brand, so, you know. <laughs> A fragrance isn't off limits by any means, but I definitely was not expecting that. They are vegan and cruelty free, and that is a very, very light, and I mean that in a good way, type of shade. It's a little bit yellow, and that's good because it's not orange. It's a little bit like olivey yellow. Maybe even a little too olivey yellow for me, but it is a more believable 
bronze, and boy, does it go on easily. What's a little odd is the, the smell is not just coconut, it's like coconut mint. That looks like a pretty good shade. I'm going to reserve my judgment until I get everything else on my face because it does look a little bit green, doesn't it? It's a little bit green. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contour as well, hoping that that kind of makes this look a little bit more at home. And I'm just going in with the Charlotte Tilbury. I need to bring my lip bar palette back upstairs. I, another one that, you know, I use certain things so much and you know, baby, I'm doing my makeup in other rooms than my beauty room. I do, I need to go and like grab all that stuff so I can make more use of it because the Charlotte Tilbury is nice, but you don't have to pay this much for a contour and highlight palette, the one from the lip bar. I think you can get that one on their website. I don't think it's at Target, but the, a lot of the lip bar stuff is at Target and um, it's, um, it's honestly better, I think, for uh, the formula and for the cost. And for blush, I'm going to go in with the Aether Beauty Blush Palette here, the Amber Palette. Very, very quick, easy, mindless. I really like this little brush from Eco Tools, man. What a good all-purpose brush. It is the angled blush attachment for their interchangeables collection. And they are still sending me the one that is more similar to my powder brush. They were out of it, but this one is definitely doing the job in the meantime. Now we actually have the next Vesca product and that is the Moonlight Stargaze Luminous Glow. This highlighter is a little bit smaller and more precious than I expected it to be. That's very, very pretty. This is what it looks like in the pan. Oh, wow, and that's the swatch. All right, so going in with my little highlighter brush here from Thrive. And that is pretty. It kind of gives me a similar vibe to the Aether, but with a little bit more pigment to it. It's not quite just that wet sheen, it does have like a little bit of like a gold reflect on the skin instead of just being almost translucent. I think that is very pretty. I would definitely use that again. Getting back into highlighter, guys. I was not really into it for a while and I definitely have my days, you know, but there was something about that dolphin skin tutorial where I was like, wait a second, <laughs> I can get away with this. Okay, something's wrong. <laughs> that we need more blush, but like, I feel like I look weird. Yeah, I think it was blush. <laughs> Is it ever not blush? <laughs> a lot of people specifically also request and sometimes leave slightly passive aggressive comments about where I should be putting my blush and where I should be putting my makeup. Like a lot of people are like, um, is there a specific reason that you did not put it on your chin? Like, no. <laughs> It's just kind of funny that like people are like losing sleep about that. I'm like, I just didn't put it on my chin that day. So moving into their eye situation. What? These are badass. I hope they work. Like I hope that they, oh, ooh. Okay, so they are really interesting when they swatch and everything. And I will be Excited to see how that actually looks on my eyeballs. So I got that in the shade Vela, which is this plummy color and in Lyra or Lyra, uh, and, and that is the champagne kind of rose gold color. So wowzers, that's gonna be a Luke. Let's go ahead and start with the lighter shade. We'll wade in together. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's pretty. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I hope it dries down. I hope it dries down like a lid star or something. You guys, oh my God. I've never used a chrome or I don't know, liquid glitter eyeshadow that did that. <laughs> that went on the skin and was just like, so present, so immediately. Cause most of them, their default is to sheer and then you have to build them to get the texture. This one, it's almost like it's default is to get the foiled texture and then you can sheer it out yourself. 
My word. My word is that pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. I am obsessing. <laughs> the beauty of a first impression sometimes is that you're just like getting to see me react to something in real time. I'm a little bit afraid to put the plum shade on just because I know that it's not going to be so similar to my skin tone and it might, <laughs> might make a fool of me. But for that reason, I'm gonna go in with just a touch of it and whoa, okay, well there goes the lid, bye. And we're gonna see if we can do it on a brush on this brush. This is just an, a Sigma E55. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. This is the wrong brush. I think I need something a little bit fluffier. Am I wrong? It appears that they will spread even once they've dried down because they go to a powder so I think that that is working. It took me a second to hunt a brush down. And so we could have been in dire straits. We could have been in a situation where it wouldn't move because that's definitely the case of the lid stars from Glossier. Not patchy. I am gonna take just a touch on my finger and this is basically of it like dried down on my hand and just see if we can get a little bit more of a blended look here by just applying the slightest amount. Wow. Um, okay, so like I have it all dried down on my hand here and it moves around as much as an eyeshadow, a powder eyeshadow would move around after you put it on, which is not very much. And it does dry down on its own. So I'm using a little bit more of the champagne there's something really, really fantastic about that, about a formula that dries down so it actually gives you that like chrome impact right when you put it on and it dries down completely. But if you, if you goof a little bit, there's a little bit of leeway for you to be able to blend. Totally awesome. Really, 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 you guys, you guys know, not super good at eyeshadow, okay? Like it's not my strength. That was really easy. It was so easy that I'm feeling brazen. <laughs> And I'm going to dip a brush in the dried shadow uh, on the back of my hand and go underneath my eye here. Yeah. That works flawlessly. Beautiful. Mm. And it doesn't retain the wet texture quite as much as right when I put it on, but let's see what happens if I layer it. I mean, I'm taking the tiniest, tiniest little bit and just tapping the middle so that we can try and kind of retain that foiled effect. Just like you would with any foiled shadow, you know, you layer it up to fill in the gaps on the glitter particles. was the most like make me look like I know what I'm doing cream eyeshadow thing I think I have ever done and you guys know I just pulled that out of the package <laughs> that's pretty impressive that is beginner level makeup with like really really rewarding results those are the winners so far those are so good so I am going to go in with the highlighter again and I'm going to go in on a little pencil brush and I'm going to use that to finish the eye look here. Get a little inner corner highlight going. That highlighter is a very pretty color on my skin. It's just like a really, really nice neutral cream kind of color. And it does blend to a, a skin smoothing type texture. Do you see it underneath my, my eyebrow? It definitely has like a blurring thing to it. That's very, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna throw on a brow. I'm gonna throw on a, an eyeliner and a mascara and we'll be right back to talk about lips. It's been a long time since I've gotten that good of an eye look out of that little effort. Okay, 
I don't want to give anything away, but <laughs> wow. So the only thing I have left to try here is the lip in Lotus and I did not get their primer situation. It's like a luminizer primer or something. Honestly, it was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't mean to not get that. I think I just didn't see it when I was on their website. But anyway, uh, hopefully this kind of brings it together. I threw a little bit of my Finding Ferdinand lavender blush on top of my blush situation because I felt like after doing the eyes, my cheeks were a little bit too warm to go with this like unbelievably beautiful cool toned eye look. So maybe this will bring it together. Let's go in with my Fit Glow lip liner here because it kind of starts to go a little bit lavender cool toned. This is in the shade Nude. I will always say not a fan of that name. And this is the shade, as I said, Lotus. And it's supposed to be kind of like a lip oil situation, but it looks just like a really lovely gloss. Big fat doe foot applicator. We love that. All right, here we go. Ooh, 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 it reminds me of the Fit Glow. It reminds me of the Fit Glow uh, lip glosses because it's really, really, really smooth and balmy on the lips. Oh, I like that a lot. It's got that same like crazy smoothness to it, you know? Wow, uh-oh. Kate, State of Kate if you're watching. If you haven't tried this yet, Look at that color. <laughs> Look at that color. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to zoom you guys out. We're going to talk through the brand, the pricing and all this stuff, all the different shade ranges and everything. And then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay. Wow. That is a yummy lip gloss. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Let's, I don't know. Am I like, I have too much? Because I am who I am, okay, I have to throw just a little bit of that peachy shade from the Aether Amber palette in my eye look to pull it together. Otherwise, I'm just not going to be able to ignore the fact that my eyes are so cool and my cheeks are so warm because the lip is right there in that pink territory that I achieved on my cheeks. And so I'm just bringing a touch of the middle blush shade right there into the local color area above my crease on my eyeshadow look. And it instantly brings it together. You know, I just like that. That's just, it's just my little trick. Okay, so Vesca Values. I always like to go to their About Me, especially on a brand new brand like this. I shouldn't say brand new. They've probably been around like a year or something, at least in my orbit. And I've mainly seen them on Jackie Ina's channel. So it says, at Vesca Beauty, we're building a community-driven beauty brand centered around high-quality products and thoughtful ingredients. We bring a fresh perspective to the industry by paving the way for inclusivity, diversity, and transparency while challenging generations old standards that no longer resonate with today's beauty lovers. So they are big on you know creating high-quality formulas that are cruelty-free and vegan. They want to challenge beauty standards. They want to be really transparent. And they also have something called the Reset Beauty Fund. And it's something that they founded. Uh, they have a promise basically to invest a minimum of $20,000 toward black and marginalized artists, content creators, and models to elevate black and marginalized voices in the beauty industry. So not only are they putting their money where their mouth is, but they've got some really, really great shade ranges on pretty much everything that they put out to the same end. So that is why they caught my attention and why I really wanted to review them, but also because I've just been hearing so much about them and you guys have been asking about them too. So there are four shades in the Moonlit Dream Cream Shadow that are at least available on the website right now. I'm not sure if there are like more shades, but that's what's there. And aside from the ones that I got, there seems to be like a deeper brown and a more like, uh, I don't know, it looks like a rich taupey, lighter brown, like a Bambi kind of color. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six of the lip gloss situations. Lush Glow Creamy Lip Oil. And I am not kidding when I say that this feels just like the Fit Glow Beauty lip glosses that are $42 a tube, but they do give you a lot of them, but this is a whole bunch of product. This is 0.16 fluid ounces and it's $26. And the shades are gorgy, Porgy. There is Lotus, the one that I got that's more of like a cool toned pink. And then they have like a warmer, more brownie pink rose called Ginger Lily. They have a bright orangey red called Hibiscus, a deeper kind of blue red called Dahlia, a good 
rich chocolatey brown called Morning Glory and a like bright kind of fuchsia color called Orchid. And I would like to own all of them, please and thank you. The next one is the highlighter and that is called the Stargaze Luminous Glow and it comes in four shades. Uh, the one that I got is the Ferris and they have kind of a peachier one, an even peachier one, and then they have one that's like a bronzy brown color and that's $28. The uh, Soft Radiant Skin Primer and Luminizer, it, the thing that I didn't get is $30 and I would love to try it. I literally just overlooked buying it. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that their bronzer range was the first thing that they came out with. And there are two, four, six, seven shades, like I said, in that. And they range all the way from Rio, which is what I got. Santorini's also really beautiful. I kind of want to try Santorini. That was what held me back from buying things from Veska at first was because the bronzers actually, I could argue, I could probably wear the first three shades. So it was not a an issue that I couldn't find what I wanted. It was like an analysis paralysis, like decision issue, you know? And so I think that Santorini might be even better for me because it has a little bit more neutral of an undertone to it instead of the what proved to be almost like an olive undertone for Kissed by Rio. But it goes all the way to Kissed by Tahiti, which is a bronzer that is, it's very, very cool and unique. It is a bronzer for deep skin tones that has almost a plumminess underneath it. And honestly, a brand that is so new coming out with seven shades of a bronzer really sets the bar high. And I feel like other brands coming out with like two, especially brands that have the funding, it really, it really puts things in perspective. So let's give me a little spritz here. All right, and while my face dries, let's talk final thoughts, shall we? So the first thing that ever caught my attention from Veska, of course, was their bronzers. And it's not that I'm not impressed by this. I just think that this shade doesn't particularly work 100% with my skin tone. Doesn't mean I'll never use it again, but I would be more likely to reach for the Charlotte Tilbury just out of personal preference of how it sinks with my undertones. It's a little bit too olive. But I happen to know that there are tons of people who have fair skin who find it very frustrating to find something that has their olive undertones to it. Olive and fair skin is a very uncommon combination when it comes to shade matching, and so this might be a fantastic instant holy grail for people like that. I do have a touch of like a yellow-green undertone to my skin, but this even compensates a little too much for that. And I think that I need something just slightly more neutral, maybe a little bit more peach. And there is something to be said for something not matching your undertones, especially from the, sta the standpoint of a bronzer, for it to actually counterbalance your undertones in some ways to like improve on them because you know that certain things are going to pull a certain way on your skin. And so I think that like putting this on my skin, like it in and of itself is not the wrong color, but when I put it on my skin, it pulled a little bit too green. That said, I would love to try the next deeper shade because it looks a little bit peachier. And this formula, wow, it's so finely milled. It's like velvety smooth and it went on. You guys saw, I mean, it's just, there's no stamping. There's no struggle to blend. It's super agreeable. It's a beautiful formula. And that is something that I cannot go without saying, because even if this isn't the shade for me, I need anybody to know that if they are interested in Vesca and you are interested in the bronzer, the price is because this formula is exquisite. It's very, very good. The highlighter, not an undupable formula, but I'm glad that I have it. I think that it's very pretty. And I think that the way that it comes is kind of a capsule. Their entire collection feels like a very complete thought as it moves forward. They are attentive to putting out products only with great intention. They wanna make sure that each one is like a hero product. We've heard that before from other brands. And I love that thought process. Do not crank out a bunch of mediocre products. It's like when you're dating five guys, like you do, and they are all kind of mediocre, but in your mind, they all build up to the perfect man. I think that too many brands rely on us to think about makeup that way, when in reality, we need each product to pull its weight. And this does pull its weight. The entire collection pulls its weight. Again, I think that this is not an undupable shade because the whole world caters to my skin tone when it comes to highlighters. The other shades are going to be far more interesting and far less dupable from that standpoint for people who have a harder time finding a highlighter that works on their skin. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not necessarily like my word that's the most important thing here. I'm happy they included me, but everybody includes me. So yeah, very, very pretty, 
gorgeous formula and I do love the blurring effect. It gave me this really, really pretty like consistent sheen where I needed it underneath my brow bone that doesn't accentuate any kind of texture. In fact, I think it disguised some texture because Lord knows I don't keep up with tweezing my eyebrows very often. <laughs> All right, the lid is is on the floor over there, but I feel like we're moving like in order of amazingness. Like it started out with pretty darn good, definitely something good to say about it and moving straight towards Glossier Eat Your Heart Out. These are awesome. They're awesome. They are awesome, awesome, awesome. And they dry down and I will probably expect that they won't crease, they might wear off. Again, I will stick a little blurb in here and let you guys know how they wore, but they don't have a creamy wear to them. They're liquid and then they dry down and then they become a powder. And so they're only probably going to crease as much as you would expect a powder to crease, depending on like, you know, the creasiness of your eyelids. <laughs> Some people have oilier eyelids than others and maybe a primer would help with that, but it's basically going to behave the way that any powder shadow does, but you're going to get an amazing color payoff. You're going to get a very fast eye look and it's much easier than carrying around a palette. I would definitely pull a tool out in order to get underneath my eyes and stuff like that. But if you are proficient with your phalanges, there would be absolutely no problem getting a one and done eyeshadow look out of this. I feel like I need to spend longer talking about these. I feel like I need you guys to look at look at my eyes a little bit more because in person I am just in awe. I'm in shock honestly that I was able to get this good of an eye look out of two shades of liquid eyeshadow and a little bit of blush. But that was just for the sake of continuity. I could have completely skipped that. But like what? Y'all, I always try to communicate how something looks, how something wears, the texture of something so you can decide whether it's for you. I'm not gonna tell anybody, buy this, you know, or you need this. And so I'm not, I'm not going to say that, but I just want you to believe your eyes. That's all. Because holy mackerel, that's pretty. It's so pretty in person. Oh my God. It's, mm. Just imagine how much obsessing about this I edited out. So again, I got the shade Lyra, which was the pink, and then I got the shade Vela, which is that violet that I used to deepen my crease. And I just, yep, I literally can't say enough about it. So those are the winner. They are so, so good. And last but absolutely not least at all is this lip gloss formula. It's remarkable. It's really, really pretty. You put it on and it feels like silk going on your lips and it doesn't have any oily greasiness to it. It doesn't feel like it's running all over the place, but it's also not syrupy. So it's not, it's not sticky at all, but you get color. Like you get consistent color and it's a really pretty color. <laughs> if you're like me and you like a neutral, I, I, mm, it's cool. It is cool. It looks neutral on me because everything kind of tries to pull pink on me. And so that's why I did go a little bit more towards lavender. But if you are like that and you like a shade like this, this formula is redonkulous. And even if this isn't your shade, obviously it's not everybody's shade. I just think that there is a really well thought out eye for color theory in this entire line. And you guys know how much that excites me. It excites me when there's color theory and like intelligence built into a color story. And that's what's happening in this collection. And it makes me really happy. It makes me really happy because I feel like if people get this in their hands, it is greater than the sum of its parts. It's, it excites me the way that M Cosmetics excites me, where I know that if you guys were to try this, you would go, yes, this is different. It's different for a reason. And it is different in a really, really game-changing way. And that's how I feel about the eyeshadow specifically and the lip gloss formula specifically. They are 
just really, really rewarding. <laughs> just really fun and easy to put on. And you guys know that's what I like most about makeup is when it is fun and easy. Anyway, I'll stop obsessing. Thank you guys so much for recommending that I try this line because it is so beautiful. And I think I want to ultimately own all of the lip glosses and I do actually still want to try that primer. So that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it slash find it useful or valuable, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel guys hit the button down below and subscribe i would love it if you guys did thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today i love you so much and i will see you in the next one bye guys